welcome at the Femto Laser booth. We are here at the Laser Munich 2009. And Femto Lasers is the first worldwide CEP laser company. And I will, my name is Andreas Asion. I'm the product manager of the CEP amplifier systems. So CEP actually is a very simple thing. It means when we consider a short pulse, that the electric field of a short pulse is controlled. It's very easy. You can see here, the CEP is zero, the maximum is here. The CEP is unequal to zero and the maximum is moving. Our customer needs to control this waveform in order to do their experiments, in order to do attosecond laser science. So they can generate laser pulses which are of the order of a few attoseconds. So it looks simple, but it's not, because a few tens of micrometer propagation in material changes the electric field form completely. A few tens of centimeter propagation in air changes it as well. So what you need is a quite robust laser system where you can control the electric waveform which we are calling CEP phase stabilization. And here we have the source. We call it Rainbow. This is a carrier envelope frequency stabilized oscillator. And what you can see here is when you would like to control something, you first of all have to measure the carrier envelope frequency. And you can see it here. This moving bead shows you it's completely unstable the oscillator is not able to produce stable carrier envelope frequency stabilized pulses. But what we can do, we have a turning knob here. We can just playing with some integrated wedges here, back and forth, back and forth, it's moving. So this is the first step. The next step is we have an electronic device which stabilizes. Look at that. This is the laser drift, the carry envelope frequency drift, and now we stabilize it. Now it's stabilized and it stays at a certain frequency. This means the carry envelope frequency of these pulses are stabilized. You need a very precise and very robust measurement technique, which we are calling DFG. This is easy to do with this kind of oscillator because the spectral bandwidth is quite broad. And what we are doing here, we take the full spectrum of the rainbow and looking for frequency components in the infrared and looking for frequency components in the blue and looking for frequency components here. We are making different frequencies of these components and then we can measure the carrier envelope frequency. It's a small little device. The crystal such, has such a dimension. It's very robust. So not only the oscillator, but also the measurement technique has to be extremely robust and less sensitive to the environment. And we can demonstrate here at the laser show that the oscillator is carry envelope frequency stabilized. Now, the customer needs more power to do its, uh, his experiments. For this, we develop this kind of optical device. It's an amplifier system which boosts the energy of these laser pulses by a factor of one to five million. So we end up here with energies in the millijoule regime up to five millijoule. This booster amplifier has two components, a seed amplifier unit and a booster amplifier unit. And it has a very specific thing here, which we called a wedge stretcher. In this wedge stretcher, there is a prism implemented and this unit introduces a phase shift. So we are starting with nearly waveform controlled electric fields here, but because of the drifts, because of temperature drifts and so on, we have to control it for the booster as well. And this small little unit is doing that by just moving a prism up and down. So we are changing the material dispersion inside here and we can do it very fast. And so we can produce high quality pulses with high energy and with an extremely excellent good CEP noise stability over hours. 
with less than 200 millivolts single shot. Because of the key technology which we implemented in this CEP stabilized amplifier system, we can guarantee the best CEP quality worldwide available and the system is less sensitive to the environment of the laboratory which helps a lot to save the money of our customer.